Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asmarant and this is more 49ers news and this is the long-winded 49ers news, but it's very, very important. Okay, so this is on NinersNation.com. This is the 49ers. Jimmy Garoppolo is staying focused on what he can control. The quarterback met with reporters following the first day of OTAs and touched on several different subjects. So let's read them. Okay, so the first one that, that the reporter said to Jimmy G. The reporter said, tell me about what your mindset has been since the phone call you received on that Friday through the month leading up to the draft, the selection of quarterback Trey Lance. What have you, uh, what have you tried to really focus on as you prepare for the season? And this is Jimmy Garoppolo's answer to it. Jimmy said, I just focused on some things I have always have really. The off season is the time for me to grow, for our team to grow. You try to improve on the things that you didn't do so well the year before. This off, se uh, this off season, I had a list of things that I wanted to improve on. First of all, get the body back right, healthily and everything. It's been going really well. Body feels great. There are some little things throughout the, uh, the offense that we've trying to work on and I've been trying to uh, articulate myself as hard as, as I can and just fix the little things. So Jimmy has addressed that he's trying to stay healthy, he's trying to get his body back in shape. Okay, that's reasonable enough on the first answer. I, 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 you know, fair play to that one. The second one he said, this is the reporter saying, can you share with us a little more about what you've been doing the last five months to get your body in shape, where you've been doing it? Maybe anything specific or what you've been working on? Jimmy responded to that and he said, I think getting the ankle right, Doing more uh, mobility, things like that. You're trying to keep the muscles uh, playable and staying hydrated. All that stuff applies. I really think it's just getting the fundamentals down and playing with the offense. When I play with the offensive, things are good and things go well and I stay healthy. So that's a big part of the off season. So he's admitted trying to stay trying to get that body moving mobility this guy could move we could see a, a better jimmy g than we did before even when it was healthy he's going to move a bit he's going to get through spaces so that looks you know that second question looks pretty uh, plausible the third one the reporter says what uh was it a goal to add some muscle this off season and did you bulk bulk up for it jimmy replied back I was trying to, yeah, nothing crazy, but I'm just trying to, like I said before, it was just another thing that I was trying to do this off-season, just stay healthy this year, and I put myself in the best situation possible to be successful. Just so trying to bulk up a little bit, not as much, but just enough for it to be so healthy, and, he's, you know, to be more mobile in the legs, so he's moving around a bit, so that's, a good, that's another good question. All right, the reporter said next on the fourth one, when we first talked to head, uh, to head coach to head coach Carl Shanahan after the trade was made, he said he could he called you and that you were understandably pissed off, that you weren't thrilled about it. Can you take us back to your emotions? Was was like was there ever a time where you considered asking for a trade or anything like that, or in the assuring time after that? Jimmy G replied back. When it eternally happened, there's a million emotions that will go throughout your head and you think of all the possibility scenarios and things, and things like that. But at the end of the day, I want to play football. I want to go out there and win games. That's it. That's all I want to do. It isn't anything too crazy. Uh, it took a little while to process everything, but once I did it, it was just go out there, get the ball and do what you got to do. You've just got to attack it. NFL is a crazy, crazy business. Things happen, but you've just got to attack it day by day and make the best of it. See, this is what I love about this guy. It's business. Nothing bad. It's business. They knew they were trading him. Uh, reportedly, John Lynch said to him, we're going to get a quarterback done. And a million, a million motions driving up in the air. Of course, you're going to feel different. You just traded it. You just got a quarterback off the drafted level. What do you expect is going to happen? But he knew that. According to reports, John Lynch said, I t I'm always up front with him and tell it how it is. They're going to draft a quarterback. Nothing bad on you. Is what it is. It's business. 
Jimmy G have just said that on a report. It's just business at the end of the day. But you still are number one quarterback to start in the regular season. So that's good. Um, to the next next thing that the reporter said. The reporter said, how would you describe the uh, dynamic, uh, dynamic between you and Trey? Obviously, the shoe was on the other foot when you were in New England. Is that a situation that you think about sometimes when you look forward and how you're going to approach the next year or two? Jimmy G responds, Trey's really cool. We've had a great relationship so far, all the quarterbacks. We've we've got a big quarterback room right now. It's a good group of guys, fun to be around. It's, it's kind of one of those things. I don't want to do anything out of the ordinary, do something that's not me. So I just try to treat it like a normal would every day else sort of person i just go about my business just be myself and let the cards fall as they may or chips fall as they may so he has said trey's a good bloke i've seen the odd clip as well where they're um they're um how do i put it they're working together and they're training together and then they went to separate rates i think jimmy g was learning with the the starting regular season blokes and then he had the backups Trey had the backups but it is what it is um but if he said that that's good i mean fair play to him the next one uh the reporter said to jimmy g was i don't want to beat this to death but just spelling this out they drafted a guy they want to replace you probably sooner than rather later given their investment they talked about that what they looked into trading you i assume how could you not have had hard feelings and how do you recall recall that with like i'm still here and maybe if i play my very best they won't be able to do what they want to do well jimmy g responded to that report and said if you start thinking about all those things especially as a quarterback you're going to be in some trouble i've got enough things to worry about just with the offense and things like that trying to improve things here and there at the end of the day we're playing football that's what i love to do i love to go out there and be with the guys win football games that's what i do it's one of the it's one of those thing uh those things that the situation is what it is it's not changing you just make the best of it the way i do that i attack each day and just try to put myself foot forward well it's fair enough man i mean you know, at the end of the day, if he does well this season, it could be with us till next season. You don't know. But that's madness that they've attacked him like that quickly. But it is what it is. Uh, I'll move on. Uh, re reporter says in the next question, uh, a slightly awkward question given all the understandable previous questions, but what, uh, what do you think of Trey? As a guy, as a quarterback, being around him, what's he been like? And what are your uh, impressions of him? Jimmy Garoppolo replies back, Trey's been cool. He is. The whole quarterback room is really good. It's a good group of guys. We're pretty deep this year. Uh, brought quarterbacks, coach uh, Rich Shanagar. Whoa, wait. Rich uh, Scanagarello. Uh, Scan uh, Rich back as the quarterback coach. Happy to see him again. It's a great group we've got in there. We've tight group. Everyone's been Competi uh, competing so far it's been a lot of fun okay um so obviously they're still asking the same questions all the time but changing it with words what's it like having trey lance there now and you and you being there second sort of thing um i'll answer that later but we'll move on to the next the reporter says next Trey shared with everyone that you were on the first people to reach out to him after he was drafted why was that uh, why was that important for you to do so Jimmy replied for a number of reasons I think one when you get drafted I want through the whole process of being there it's a unique experience and just a crazy night all the emotions you've worked so hard to get to the point and now you're getting you're there getting drafted. So I just wanted to tell him congratulations. You've worked hard to get here and everything and just start off on the right foot. It's not every day you get drafted to the NFL. So I hope you enjoyed it. Well, that's good. So Jimmy G contacted him. Congratulations. That's very, very good. Okay. We move into the next one. All right. The reporter said two questions. First, how's your ankle? Is it 100% healthy? 
two, I noticed you were wearing a knee brace. Are you done with that, or are you going to wear that during the games? Jimmy Garoppolo replied. Jimmy says, ankle feels great. It really hasn't been a bother since. Um, I don't know. I can't remember wearing the knee brace, though. That's just kind of one of those things that will come and go. I don't mean to keep throwing you guys off of that, but, yeah, that's about it. So... The knee brace thing is not there, but it is there sort of thing. So his injury is still there. That's a worrying thing. Um, uh, that's a worrying thing for me. But I'll leave it as that. Uh, I'll talk about that more later. The next one. Reporter says, how much of the relief is it to have some of sense of normality after not a normal off-season, not a normal season, just to be back out there with the OTAs? Jimmy Garoppolo replies, it's been awesome. It, it really had just, just getting back into a rhythm with the guys, seeing everyone here. I was thrilled to see all the guys come back. We've been putting in some good work. It's just different. Last year with the whole quarantine and everything that happened last year, it is it was a tough off season. Now it's nice to see to get back to a little bit of normality, like you said, and just to be around the guys again. So just like a lot of I think uh NFL players, they're great to see nor normality. Are we better this season? Because I've heard the forty ers are getting a full one hundred percent attendance. So that's good. Alright. Next question that reporter said. Just wondering, with your experience in uh, New England, are there things you'll take away from that experience and you bring to the situation here that you liked, what happened and maybe didn't like, so you don't repeat those mistakes? Or you use that to kind of further the relationship with Trey Lance? Jimmy Garoppolo replies, To be honest, I haven't put that much thought into it. Relation the relationship between me and Trey, I think it's just happened naturally. It's not something that you want to, folk, uh, to force too much. You don't want to m make it fake. Things will happen and, th and that stuff takes time. But I think it's one of those situations where you don't want to get out of your m m normality and do something that's not you. I just let things happen and take it from there. Okay. Well, he's an everyday step-by-step -step guy from where it seems. Okay, the second to last reporter question. Reporter says, you've been criticised quite a lot a bit over the last three months, and the main critic always seems to be, he has trouble staying healthy, which doesn't seem like something you always have control over. I'm just worrying how you reflect to that, and do you uh, bristle when you hear that or read that? What's your reaction? Jimmy G replies, being in the NFL for as long as I have, you kind of get used to it. I guess you could say... It's kind of what comes with the job. It's of those things that keeps pushing you. Though when you hear those critics and you hear those little things out there, it pushes you to take your game to the next level. We're all competitors out there. We all want to go and put ourselves in the perfect game. At the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do. I'm trying to keep pushing myself. So, just like all of us, critics are critics, but he does try his best game by game. Um... The last question to this is, uh, the reporter says, over the last couple of months, have you heard from other quarterbacks that have been in kind of similar situation as you? Maybe someone that's either come in or had another quarterback come in, whether it's Tampa Bay uh, quarterback Tom Brady or former new Saint, a new Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees or former Washington football team quarterback Alex Smith or even former 49ers quarterback Steve Young has everyone reached out have you gotten any advice from any other quarterback that's a good question and Jimmy Garoppolo said I kind of missed half your question there but no no one I haven't really reached out to anyone it was kind of like I was saying before I don't want to make it a weird relationship between me and Trey I don't want to do something that's not me uh, I just want want it to happen naturally and it has been Trey's a cool dude we've hung out a couple of times and it's one of those relationships that will come over time it will just takes a little time so what do I think of the whole article and so forth well he congratulate you Trey and he's listen Jimmy G's the guy he's just starting 
quarterback, but he knows this is business. Like I said, I keep saying it, it has been reported that John Lynch has said he's always up front with Jimmy G, no matter what it is. He'll say it to his face. He said he's drafting a quarterback. Done. Jimmy had motions up, down, left, right and centre. Will he get rid? Will he be traded? Will he leave? According to this, he's still our starting quarterback, which is fantastic. But I am still worried with that knee brace. Even I saw it last year on the first season. Uh, last year season, sorry, on the first, first and second game. He had that knee brace on. I think it was the first game. He had the knee brace on, for Christ's sake. Like, Jesus Christ, he had it on. And he's still got it there. So do I think he's healthy? Now I'm 50-50 about it. To be fairly honest, I'm 50-50 that this guy will stay healthy. And I hope he does. Like, I'm really hoping that this guy stays healthy as long as he can. But that is scaring me. But then... Trey Lance has done very well, according to Jimmy G. He's a great bloke, puts his head down and drives. There's little mini videos of them two working together. But if Trey Lance puts his head down, works hard, we could be saved. If Jimmy G goes off season very, very well, Trey, Trey Lance does nothing. Regular season, something happens to Jimmy G. It could be out for a month to the whole season. You don't know. If anything happens... Trey's your guy. So I'm hoping Trey's working hard because I'm now 50-50. I'm, I'm skeptical that if he's still got that knee brace on, mate, he's not healthy at all. That knee brace shouldn't even be on. But listen, it is what it is. We won't know until the full season. Um, Trey and him are getting along. Good interview. I mean, you know, He's just putting his head down and grafting through, trying new things, getting the off offense ready, getting everything ready. I'm psyched for this season. I am psyched. Um, but yeah, that's about it for that one. Um, leave your comments. Tell me what you think of the interview. Um, tell me what you think of Jimmy G. Is he ready? Is he healthy? Is he ready to take us to even... Let alone a wild card. Don't a wild card, but the playoffs. Is this? Can this guy take us to the playoffs? Um, leave your comments about anything or everything. Um, thank you very much as well for the thirty-six people that subscribed. I'm really fortunate. I appreciate it. I'm very humble for you guys to subscribe. And if you're new subscribers, I've done a lot more Forty ers news during the week. Um, I won't be doing it during the week weekends because I'm always working and I like to step away back from the computers and so forth. And I won't be doing it this Monday because in England it's Bank Holiday Monday. So it's added like a, a Sunday sort of thing. But I will be on Tuesday to Friday and then it's normal Monday to Friday. Thank you very much for guys for watching and I will see you guys uh, on the next video.